How are you folks? Dara Curran here, aka the Guinness Guru. Now first things first, I am no, absolutely, by no means, an expert in football. Uh, so this, these predictions might be a little bit all over the shop, but we'll give it a go. Also, a disclaimer, I am a Man United fan for my sins, so there might be a slight bit of Man United bias in here. My predictions for the 2024-2025 English Premier League season in... I'm going to go from 7th to 1st to build up the crack. Number 7, Newcastle. Number 6, Spurs. In 5th, some people think they'll probably come higher than this. I'm going to go with Chelsea. Still think they have a lot of uh, work to do from having a couple of such a terrible couple of seasons uh, previous. In 4th position, some people won't be happy with this, but I will go with Liverpool. In third, my Man United bias is really coming out right now. I will go with Man United in third, even even though my I am Team Ten Hag in, but the only reason I'm saying third is because there's been so many changes made, and it's you see the likes of Garn Garnacho and Kobe Manu, Kobe Manu, Garnacho and Kobe Manu having a great FA Cup final against City, and then Manu playing so well for England amongst a pretty shitty team. Uh, in the Euros, so my hope is in the youth of Man United that that'll get them in third and hopefully someday back to first, back to winning ways. Another controversial one in second, I am going to go Manchester City. My head screams this is completely wrong and they're just going to romp the league again, but my heart says Arsenal will make it third time lucky and they will, yeah, it's kind of, it's definitely now or never do or die for Arsenal, Arteta. Won't be feeling the pressure to win a league because he's done so well with them, but oh, they, they, they have to do it. They just have to do it. Now on to Premier League top scorer for the 2024-2025 season. Obvious answer, cop-out answer is Erling Haaland. A lot of people probably say Mo Salah, even though he's getting on a bit. I'm going to go a little bit left field. I know I said Chelsea would only finish fifth, but if Chelsea are to do better than fifth, I do believe Cole Palmer could have an absolutely absolute screamer of a season and he could come in with 20-25 goals who knows he's an unbelievable talent he's had a couple of goals did he get one or two goals at the Euros very very good goals and he is just on such a rise that he could he could just surprise if if Haaland has a relatively quiet season and only gets maybe 18-19 goals I think Palmer could sneak in and get maybe 20-25 lastly the least fun thing to predict who is going to go down this season I'm going to go with two of the favourites, Leicester and Southampton. And then I'm going to throw Everton in there. Uh, I think, like the way I said about Arsenal, that they're they're bound to win it. It seems like Everton, despite the fact that they are a huge club, when I was growing up through the kind of mid-2000s, Everton would have, even until recently enough, Everton would have been up there, kind of fourth, fifth, sixth, fighting for Europa League places, stuff like that. But unfortunately, they've just gone to the dogs in the last few years. And it seems like, for me, the end is near. The time is now for Everton to get relegated.